On day one, I was summoned in. I was Hero Brian. I thought he was a myth. I couldn't wait to start scaring people, but I only have five hearts and I'm tiny. Who could have summoned me? Just then, I saw a player. Hey, did you summon me? Dude, Hero Brian is real? Uh, yeah, that's me. What's up? If I kill you, I'll be a legend. Wait, hey, hey, stop. But he didn't listen. The player attacked me. Dude, just, just back off, okay? I don't want to hurt you. Die, monster! I'm not a monster. Whoa, what did I do? I had to run. Luckily, my small size meant I could slip away through the trees. It was then that I came across the player's base. I grabbed all the supplies I could. Food, dirt, ore. I needed all. But I activated a golem. Give me a break. I was being hunted on all sides. I needed to find somewhere secluded and build myself some protection. Ah, this looks promising. I built myself a small house out of whatever I had on hand and shut the door. Man, that was just day one. Who knows what the other 99 hold. Day two, I woke up to something slamming into my house. What the heck? Leave me alone. It was a soul vulture attacking my home. Maybe I was in its territory. I tried to hit it, but I didn't have a sword. Ah, get down. Down here. Suddenly, I felt a surge of power. <laughs> you should definitely listen to this vulture. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, or else Hero Brian will haunt you. But anyway, uh, that was weird. What is his power? I can see into the vulture's mind and control its actions. <laughs> Weird. Well, you can go find souls over there. Shoo, be gone. Herobrine commands it, all right? The soul vulture flew away. I'll definitely need to remember that power. Still, I needed to arm myself. Time to get mining. I got myself a set of wooden tools and started digging into the side of a mountain. Don't ask me why it's two by two. I like the aesthetic. I followed an iron vein further and further into the mountain. It's getting spooky down here. I didn't have any light with me and I was about to turn around when out of nowhere came out a haunting whale. What the heck is that? I've got to get out of here. I grabbed as much iron ore as I could and booked it back to the surface. That's enough adventure for one day. Man, what else? is down there. On days three to four, it was time to upgrade my shack. I used the iron to reinforce it and built myself some better equipment. I wasn't sure if Herobrine needed to eat, but I sure did. I wanted to make a farm, but I didn't want to leave it out in the open. Not with every player in Minecraft after me, too. So into the mountain I went. I planted my potatoes, perfect for underground living, and built myself a little underground bedroom. I tried on my bed, which must have been too comfy as I fell asleep. It was then I had a dream. I was standing in what looked like a super creepy castle. But what was that? A giant me? And I'm destroying the world. <laughs> oh! All of Minecraft is mine. Nothing can stop me, the Necromancer. I tried to use my powers, any of them, but I couldn't. I woke up in a cold sweat. Was that a vision? That morning, I poked my head to see if any players had been sniffing around my base. I hadn't gone far when I saw one attacking that donkey. What a jerk. Hang on, little guy. I went to run towards the player, but I teleported instead. Whoa, new power. Ah, he's real. With him gone, I saw that the donkey had been guarding a herd of sheep. Hey, donkey. Sorry about that, man. Are you okay? These are tough times you live in, man, for sure. Why don't you come back and live with me? It's a little cramped right now, but I'm sure we can expand. Sweet. I'll name you Romeo. Romeo and I took the sheep back to my shack, setting them up in a sweet underground pen. I know it doesn't look like much now, guys, but this underground base is gonna be huge. Just wait. On days five to six, I woke up to the sound of scurrying? Where's that coming from? Wait, it's beneath my feet. The ground broke open, and out came a swarm of spiders. Ooh, gross. Get away. I hit a few of them, but there were too many. Get back. I said get back. Suddenly, they all stopped. My mind abilities, they worked. Something scared you. Uh, scurry forth and bring me diamond. Yeah, that'll do. Ah, sweet. There they go. I followed them down. I found some charcoal on the way, making myself some quick torches. Yeah, now that I can see, this place will do nicely. What the? I peered over and heard it. That howling again. Is that a ghost miner? But those aren't real. They came out of the wall and attacked me. Back, you fiends. And just as soon as they'd arrived, they were gone. Was it all in my head? Still, this cave I was in was sweet. The perfect palace to move my underground base to. I got to work. On day seven to eight, I went out searching for those things to make my spooky base even spookier. I was gathering vines and moss when I heard a noise. It was a player attacking a zombie. What did that zombie do to you? Leave him alone, you bully. Oh, hero, Brian. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. Wait till I get my friends, all right? There's a bounty on your head, dead or alive. <laughs> no problem, zombie. I was trying to make sure no one knocks us evil mobs around again. That base. I remember that. Maybe it's time I paid them a visit with my new powers. I appeared in the village. Yeah, that's right. Hero Brian is here. Huh, this is awesome. Uh-oh. Teleport. Teleport now. I couldn't do it. Well, I don't need powers to defeat you. Luckily, I was still equipped with my sword. That was close. Suddenly, I felt stronger. I leveled up. I was no longer little. I was normal sized. And I had 10 hearts. Much better. I hope I can control my powers a little bit better now. I raided the town, taking everything that wasn't nailed down and offering a Hero Brian. Still, I need to practice those powers of mine. On 
days nine to ten, I went to practice my powers. Okay, teleport. Ha, boom. Wait, I'm levitating? Oh my gosh, I can fly. This is sweet. I wanted to see how fast I can go and took off. I hadn't gone far when I started to feel weird. Uh, what's going on? Whoa, oh, I'm falling. I hit the ground. Wait, who is that? I knew my enchanted beacon would work. Can't escape me, the ultimate mob hunter. Ugh, you. What do you want? There's a handsome bounty on your head, Herobrine. All I want is diamonds, and you're worth a bundle of them. The hunter had a netherite sword. This isn't good. I frantically cast my mind out, hoping for something, anything. <laughs> You'll have to do. Uh, help me, please. The chicken smashed the beacon. I'm free. Come on, chicken. Let's get out of here. So long, hunter. May we never meet again. You can't escape me, Herobrine. I will find you. I made it back to my base with my chicken friend. I gave the chicken to Romeo to look after and got to work setting up some traps with the spiders. If that hunter comes back, I'll be ready. Days 11 to 13, I was cleaning out more of my underground base when I heard something. <laughs> Someone triggered one of my traps. I ran upstairs and saw a player in my trap. Wait, that's no ordinary player. A zombie player? How is that possible? With forbidden magic, everything is possible. Necromancer, what are you doing here? I came to check on my pet. You ran away so quickly. I was beginning to think you were being ungrateful. Who, me? I'm no one's pet, Necromancer. I'm here, Brian, and I'm taking you down. Bluster all you want, fool. You can't escape your destiny. Hey, get back here. The zombie player attacked. Get back. The slain zombie dropped something. His friendless. Let's see what we have here. An active player. I bet he has something to say about what's going on. I mean, his friend was literally the living dead. On days 14 to 16, I traveled across the biome, keeping an eye over my shoulder for the hunter. Wouldn't want to run into him unprepared. Eventually, I found the player's house. Aw, so cute. Let's get him. I crept up behind him, trying my best to stay quiet. But just then, oh no, he saw me. He grabbed his sword and attacked, but he was no match for me. Ha, huh, I'm in your mind player. Reveal to me your secrets. Yes, Herobrine. What is your wish? Your friend was a zombie. I want to know why. He was working for the necromancer. With that clown? Well, look how well that turned out for him. We were ordered to gather ingredients, skeleton bones, all the bones. Uh, well, live your best life and leave us mobs alone. With that taken care of, I needed to find out where all these skeletons were. I spent the rest of the day looting the player's house. He won't be needing these anymore. As night fell, I kept my eyes open. Aha! Skeleton! I teleported over to him and he attacked me. Yo, dude, stop. The skeleton told me that the best palace to find bones is at their main keep. Thanks for the info. Feel free to stop by my base. Uh, we'll take care of you. On day 17 to 19, I cross into the lava biome. Let's see. Hidden skeleton fortress. Subtle, but wait. It was under siege. Players were swarming all over the place. Attacking the skeletons and trying to get inside the keep. Focus. Focus. I did it. Wait. Where am I? Herobrine? But we thought you were gone! You know me? Of course! Who doesn't know the great Herobrine? Herobrine sure does love freaking out some players. Leave it to me, Skeleton King. This is going to be fun. I flew around their camp, detonating their TNT blocks. Ha! A good day's work. On days 20 to 23, I met back up with the Skeleton King and asked why the players were after their bones. He needs it for an ancient ritual. The more he gets, the stronger he'll become. He's got all the players hunting them like it's some sort of crap. We just want to be left alone, man. We can get you settled in and away from all this player hate. The Skeleton King agreed, and I led him and his army to my base. I spent the next two days working with the skeleton to craft an even creepier base. I wanted the base to resemble, well, me. So I built up another portal and went to the nether. There I can get all the proper block that's going to make my base truly scary. We also used the extra help to upgrade our farms and tools. Thanks, guys. Teamwork makes a dream work, after all. Days 24 to 26, I started on my search. Where to find drowners? I flew all over, checking many different beaches. That's when I heard it. A mob in distress. It was the Herobrine Hunter, and he was attacking a dolphin. Stupid water mammals. Stop mocking me! I had to do something, but I wasn't strong enough to fight that guy yet. I know. Hey, Hunter, looking for me? Look who it is. Dead me! The Hunter ran after me, but he was no match for my newly honed teleportation skills. That should keep him busy. There you go, dolphins. You're safe. Do you guys know where there's a drowner queen around here? With the dolphins by my side, I swam into the inky depths. Glad I don't have to breathe. Days 27 and 29, I swam for quite a while, heading further and further out to sea. What do you- Ah! 
That hurt. What the heck was that? It was a boat full of players. What were they doing out here? They were throwing TNT overboard like it was fish food. I swam down and down, trying to get out of the range of those explosions. Arabride, what are you doing down here? A guardian. Am I glad to see you? Is there somewhere safe we can go? Our temple is a little further down. Follow me. We swam even deeper until the guardian showed me a small tunnel. In here. This is our temple. Thanks, buddy. We swam inside. Whoa. It's a whole sunken temple full of guardians. Is this what the players are after? They're farming us for prismarine crystals. They're using the TNT to try to flush us out. Why can't players just leave us evil mobs alone? All they know is destruction. It's time we show them. The guardians invited me to rest and eat some of their fish to restore my hearts. I was gonna need them for tomorrow. On days 30 to 32, I was ready to take the fight topside. Those players won't know what hit them. Hey guys, miss me? I used a surprise to my advantage and lit their stash of TNT. This is for the guardians you've killed. Boom. The players went flying. Hope they can swim. Enjoy the cardio. I swam my way back to the temple and met with the guardians. Wait, what happened here? The place was wrecked. Arabide, it was awful. This hunter came in and farmed everyone. They're all gone. He took a whole chest load of prismarine. The hunter again. He must be on my scent. But how? I couldn't just leave the remaining guardians here, so I told him how to find my base. Oh, wait. You guys know where the drowner queen is? Here, take this gem. If you swim deeper, follow the light till you find the base. I hope you're not not scared of the dark. The dark? Me? Kira Brian? <laughs> Sure. On days 33 to 35, I was swimming deeper still. They're not called drowners for nothing. Down I went. Suddenly, I saw a beacon. Wait, that's no beacon. Oh my. Wait, it's not real. Ha, huh. well, <clears throat> all of a sudden, its mouth opened and drowners came out. Ah, the drowners attacked, trying to drag me down to the deep to drown. Joke's on you. I don't need to breathe. I've been looking for your queen. It's a matter of great importance. The drowners apologize and let me inside their base. Whoa, definitely creepy. It's not every day we get a visitor here. Welcome, Herobrine. How may I assist you? It's a pleasure, ma'am. I just had a question. Ask away. Anything for the great legend himself. There's a necromancer running around with an army of players. He's having them farm bones and prismarine. Plus, he's hunting me relentlessly. I just wanted to know what his deal was. The necromancer derives his power from the forces of the dead. He is using these items to channel that power into a Ritual that he hopes will grant him the powers of, well, you. Me? A hero named Steve stopped him before, but he's long since departed this game. Then who can defeat the necromancer? It would seem that falls to you, Herobrine. Here, I can aid you in this. The Drowner Queen gave me a ton of diamond and what looked like a glitched apple. I ate it and felt myself growing stronger. Oh yeah, 15 hearts. I bet I can control my powers better too. I was about to ask the Drowner Queen for some advice when, of all places, we were attacked by players. How do they get down here? No time to find out. Come on, drowners. Let's get out of here. Ha! Huh. We were back to my base. Sorry to steal you, drowners, but you're safer here, I promise. At least for now. On days 36 to 38, I got our new guests settled in. I built a nice pool for both the drowners and the guardians to enjoy and used the diamond gifted to me to further enhance my base. Look at this place. No player can get in here. And if they do, they're in for a surprise. My work was interrupted by Romeo. What's up, buddy? Romeo told me that he found the necromancer's base. Lead the way. We traveled across the plains until the land turned dead and brittle. We cautiously moved forward until we saw it. The necromancer's palace. I tried to get closer, but I must have triggered a silent trap because a bunch of zombie players attacked. I can't fight this alone. At least not yet. Come on, Romeo. We teleported home. Oh, that was a close one. Glad you're okay. Wait, what's that? It was the player I'd brainwashed earlier. He's stuck in one of my traps. Herobrine must find Herobrine. Well, you found me. Can help Herobrine. Uh, sure. Go to the necromancer's palace for me, okay? And do a little peeking around. With Pleasure. Wow, what a good guy. On days 39 to 41, I awaited my minion. Uh, player's return. I hope he's okay. There he is. And he's being chased by other players. I should help. Uh oh, I'm too late. Man, they killed their own kind. It looked like he managed to steal a ton of gold. I wonder if I can still read his mind. Whoa, he got right into the center of the palace. What's that? It's an anti-magic beacon, like the one the hunter used. Tough, but not as tough as me. Now that I knew what this necromancer was up to and where he was, I needed to get a plan together. On days 42 to 44, I woke up to the spiders crawling all over me. Ah, what? I teleported outside. It was him, and he was disabling my traps. Don't just stand there, spiders. Uh, attack. Ugh, gross. Why do they have eight legs? That's so unnatural. I guess I learned one thing that guy won't hunt. I started repairing the traps with the help of the spider web and started making the front of my mansion even spookier. Suddenly, I realized something was missing. Romeo? Oh, Romeo, where are you? I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find him. That hunter must have grabbed him. I'm coming, Romeo. On days 45 to 47, I followed the trail the hunter took. At least, I hoped it was. He's a pro. I tracked him across 
across the biome. At least he wasn't heading to the Necromancer's Palace. There he is! Just like the hunter said he would be! Get him! Players, you picked the wrong day to mess with me. Time to flex my powers. Ha! That'll teach you to mess with Hero Brian. Just then, I heard a familiar nang sound. Romeo, there you are. I feel you, buddy. Come on, let's go home. So predictable. I have you now. It was a trap. The hunter attacked, but this time I was stronger. Take that and that. Ugh, what the? You've gotten better. I'll have to rethink my strategy. Hey, no fair. Get back here. Wait, a map? Well, well. This looks like a map of all the places the necromancer's looking for ingredients. Romeo, do you want to go on a little road trip? On days 48 to 50, Romeo and I flew across the land, following the map. Let's see. The map says we're here. Where is everyone? We were about to leave when a giant golem emerged from the swamp. Hey, calm down. Players here? What do they do? Why is this place abandoned? Which way do they go? I'll get them back for you. The golem pointed the way. Why don't I teleport you to my base? You'll be safer there. On days 51 to 54, we stumbled across the player's outpost in the swamp. What do you think, Romeo? <laughs> I'm trying to avoid a bloodbath here, buddy. Take a chill pill. It looked like it was just players, and we all know who loves messing with players. I didn't want to rely on my old tricks. Time for a classic. I was able to make a bunch of armor stands. I only needed one more thing. Perfect. I made a few more of these and snuck around the player's outpost, making sure to place the armor stands in corners and places they wouldn't see immediately. I found the baby golems in cages. Don't worry, guys. We'll be able to get you out. Romeo and I spent the night hiding, enjoying the frightened reaction to the players echoing throughout the night. With the players scared off on days 55 to 57, I could rescue the baby golems. You're free, guys. Go join your dad back at my base. No sooner had I teleported them away, I was surrounded by smoke. I can't see. Few new tricks, and down you go. <laughs> Sleep well, Herobrine. I can't breathe. I can't. Ugh. On days 58 to 60, I awoke next to Romeo. Ugh, I feel terrible. I only had one heart. Where are we at, buddy? It looks like a cave. If I hadn't known how irritating you were going to be, I would have summoned you closer to the main event. So it was you, huh? Well, you got what you wanted. Unfortunately, I'm taking you down. Imagine Herobrine channeling all that power into one mob. The things one could do. Become my vessel, Herobrine. Join me. You're insane. I'm never going to join you. Rot in this cell, then. Farewell, Herobrine. That necromancer has to be stopped. And soon, we can only have one mob with godlike powers here, and it's going to be me. Still, how do I get out of here? I can't teleport. I can't fly. <laughs> Oh, you clever donkey. Come on, let's get the heck out of here. Day 61 to 63, we traveled day and night. Suddenly, we heard a dreadful roar. Romeo, what is that? It was a zombie dragon. Necromancer must have sent it after us. I only had one heart still. No way I could take this dragon on. Looks like this is it. Romeo, wait, no! He left at the dragon, taking its damage. Hang on! I used the distraction to attack, getting a critical hit in. Take that, dragon! Romeo was poisoned. No, 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 no. But it was too late, and Romeo was slain. Poor little guy, but I'll never forget his heroic sacrifice. I was about to head off when, surprisingly, the dead dragon began to speak. That necromancer. He'll pay, don't worry. A portal opened. I will, dragon, for Romeo. On day 64 to 66, I took the portal straight to another fortress. Whoa, I should have taken some notes from this place. Definitely spooky. Suddenly, I was surrounded by Enderman. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Where is our dragon guardian? She was corrupted by the necromancer, and she's gone now. That necromancer will pay! Well, it looks like we're on the same team, Enderman. Before she died, she wanted me to find her egg. She said it would help, but I could also use your help, too. If it's to take revenge, then very well. Follow me. I followed the Enderman deeper into the fortress, where he showed my dragon nest. I carefully picked up the egg. Whoa, so warm. Thanks, guys. I'll take good care of it. You will need help to raise it. Can I come with you, Herobrine? Oh, uh, of course. The more, the merrier. Come on. I teleported them all back to my base. Get comfy, guys. The Enderman stuck to their word. They gave me a ton of netherite to reinforce my equipment and base. There we go. That's much better. On days 67 to 69, I awoke to the base shaking. It was the hunter again. You're going to have to try harder than that, Herobrine. This guy won't quit. It's only a matter of time before they break through and find us. I headed back to my base and got to work using the netherite supplies to arm everyone in the base. I promised they would be safe and I had to keep that promise. Here you go. I just finished all that work when the Enderman from earlier came to see me. I have something to tell you. You're not just a mob. You're THE mob. What do you mean by that? We Endermen see everything. Yet you, you are different. 
You have parts of code that are ancient. You've existed even before us Endermen. Whoa. Is there a way I can find out more? As I said, that's before we were even in this world. But there is one who can tell you more. The first creeper. Legend is, he's still in the game. Mummified in an ancient pyramid far across the desert. Thanks, Enderman. I'm trusting you guys. On day 70 to 72, I arrived at the desert. I followed the Enderman's directions and found the pyramid. But, of course, it was crawling with creepers. This necromancer was always one step ahead. I spent the day keeping my distance, observing it. The next day, I snuck into their camp. You! Ah! What do you want? The key. Where is it? Here, just take it, please. Just leave me alone. Thanks, man. Take a hike now, all right? It's good for you. I love hikes. Hikes are fun. With the key in my hand, it was time to meet this first creeper. I hope it'll be worth it. On days 73 to 75, I made my way inside the temple. The silence is overwhelming, and then I found it. A sarcophagus. I hadn't even touched it when it began to crack open, and the biggest creeper I'd ever seen came out. Who dares disturb my slumber? Oh, boy. It's me. Here, Brian. I've come to ask. Hero Brian, you're the ultimate glitch. You should never have existed. I'm not here to wreck things, Creeper. I'm here to save it from a jerk necromancer. The necromancer returns? Forgive me, Hero Brian. Come, follow me deeper into this ancient place. A pyramid tour with a creepy mummy? Awesome. On days 76 to 78, we headed down and down, deep below the surface of the earth. This place must be ancient. Eventually, we came to a vast library. This is one of the original builds from eons ago. I hope you find something here, Hero. O'Brien. I don't even know where to start. Perhaps start here. Why does this feel so familiar? What? This is when I was born. I was eager to read more, but just then, everything began to shake. It's that necromancer. It has to be. Speak of the devil, he shall appear. What's the matter, O'Brien? Doing your homework? There's no anti-magic beacon here, necromancer. I'm taking you down. Wait, did you just teleport? Surprised? <laughs> My ritual is almost complete. This might be well, your will is mine. Ah, uh, I could feel them in my head. These are my powers. But how? Hero Brian, leave at once. The world needs you. Oh, man. Time to go. Get back here. I teleported out of the pyramid just in time. The whole thing went up. Thanks, Creeper. I'll make sure your sacrifice wasn't in vain. On days 79 to 81, I made it back home. I spent some time meeting with all the mobs. Apparently, the players almost made it into the shack on the hill, but the spiders scared them off. Felt like with his new powers, the necromancer was about to make a big move. I helped them repair some of the damage before sitting down to do some hard studying. I won't admit that patch notes are the most interesting thing to read, but I learned a ton. Well, I was never meant to exist. I was in error. People used the legends of me to scare and frighten each other, growing my powers through sheer will alone. I was supposed to be removed, but each time they tried, I just grew stronger. Now the necromancer is trying to steal that power. Huh, what's this? It's that Steve guy the Drowner Queen told me about. It says here he was the first thing in Minecraft ever. Hmm, if I can be summoned out of the code, he can too. I needed to get back to the altar I was spawned on. On days 82 to 85, I was nowhere closer to finding out a way to defy my faith. Is that the players again? Are you guys looking for me? Good timing, Herobrine. I was hoping to get your attention. Boys, show this loser what you can do. No matter. I bet they go down just the same. Wait, they teleported away from the hit. Oh no, Necromancer must be sharing his power with his minions. It's only a matter of time. Surrender now or face certain death. These are nothing but cheap copies. If players are getting my powers too, I need to end this and end it fast. I spent days 86 to 88 carefully traveling across the biomes towards the altar. There was anti-magic beacons everywhere. The hunter was also a constant problem. No matter where I teleported to, hid, or ran, he was always just over the horizon. I decided to turn in for the night, building myself a modest little hut. Huh? Who's there? Is that? It was Zombie Romeo! How are you alive, dude? The necromancer is raising an army of the living dead and you were caught in that spell? That's amazing! Thanks for finding me, Romeo. With Romeo back by my side, I passed the night peacefully. On days 89 to 91, we made it to the altar. It's been a minute, huh? Hold on to your ears, Romeo. Let's see if this works. I found the first patch note that mentioned Steve and tossed it into the altar. Huh. Guess we need to add something else. Ah! There's a flash of light! Uh, where am I? Wait, Herobrine? I summon you to ask for help. I'm sorry, help? Like, me? Help you? <laughs> No way, Herobrine. I'm not the bad guy this time. Trust me. There's a necromancer wrecking the world and absorbing all the mob's powers. He's trying to absorb mine too, and we need to stop him. You have no place here. I do. I'm Herobrine. Don't delay the inevitable. Time to die. I don't want to do this, Steve. Sorry. Well, that was no help. Wait, what's this? 20 hearts? Oh yeah, I felt stronger than ever. Maybe I was Steve now? Huh. <laughs> 
No way. But I definitely absorbed his power. I teleported Romeo and myself back to the base. Oh yeah, that was easier than ever. Wait, I can sense something. The dragon egg was calling out to me. I focused my mind and the egg hatched. It was a baby ender dragon. The roar of an ender dragon can break any enchantment. Use it to take down the anti-magic beacons. You better watch out, Necromancer, because I'm coming for you. On days 92 to 95, we braced for the upcoming attack. I checked in with all my mob friends and made sure that they were ready for the final battle. We worked on and on, forging, smithing, and reinforcing. If the players and the Necromancer were going to be wielding powers like mine, we needed to play smart. Still, once a player, always a player. We set up some trap doors that would drop the players right into the waiting mobs below. That'll scare and hurt. Mean? Sure. But we had a war to win. We had just finished getting ready when the hunter launched his all-out assault. Mobs, don't be scared. I'll take care of this. Okay, players, let's dance. Attack! Don't let the trap slow you down! Glory awaits in battle! This is your last warning, Hunter. Tell the players to back off or you won't like what happens next. Oh, tough words for someone who's just about to be minced me. But where does that leave you, Hunter? Here with me. That's where. Let's settle this. With pleasure. On days 96 to 99, the player assault was on. They blew up the shack and started mining down into the underground base. But unfortunately for them, our traps were a little too effective. Welcome to your doom, players. Remember us? One by one, we led them to their demise. Ha! Look at them scatter. You may have those weaklings scared, Herobrine, but it won't work for me. The hunter advanced, but I had a little surprise for him. Follow me, hunter. Is this your master plan, huh? The hunter stepped on a trap door and fell into a pitch black cave I dug just for him. What is that noise? Scurrying? No, not spiders! Anything but spiders! Ah! And that takes care of that. Don't mess with those mobs, all right? Because we'll fight back. This was it. Day 100. With his army scattered and his hunter defeated, it was time to take it to the necromancer and end this. Let's go, Ender Dragon. I arrived in the palace. There's the necromancer. He's draining the energy straight from the world itself. Herobrine, my final hour is at hand. The ritual is almost complete. Nothing can stop me. I beg to differ. Ender Dragon, do your thing. The Ender Dragon swooped in, roaring like mad. The anti-magic beacons shattered. No! not finished yet. What are you doing? Taking you down, Necromancer. Your will is mine. Now get a race. Oh, no, my mind. I can't control my powers. What's happening? What have you done? No! Whew. That was close. It's over. It's finally over. 